Well, welcome back to another episode. We are here again after technically a two, two week hiatus, three week hiatus of not recording. They were taken. Yeah. You know, you know, I went on vacation. Somebody had a family emergency. Almost had a family emergency tonight, but you know, we're here. And we are here, of course. Sorry, let's back up. I forgot to introduce Roggy himself. Mr. Barbie doll, Mr. Ken, Roggle. There you so fucked up piece of clay. <laughs> Give me your shit. <laughs> You're welcome. If they don't know who we are at this point, they're a problem. You never know. Maybe we'll get clay back on. <laughs> the guy that was supposed to be here for all of our wrestling content. I know you're listening, Isn't Clay. He's a, he's a, he's a busy no more man. kids. He's busy. Uh, yeah, that's, that's the only way you put it. Yeah. Anyways, it is WrestleMania week. It's WrestleMania 39 in SoFi Stadium out in California. So we have a chock full uh, match card lined up. From what I could tell, there's only like one or two matches that have been confirmed for night one or night two. I'm still not sure exactly which one because they were announced on, I believe, Raw last night. And I believe it's Seth Rollins and Logan Paul will be night one. Um, I think there's another one that's going to be on night two, but there haven't, hasn't been a definitive uh, document I've seen that says these matches are on night one, these matches are on night two, like it has been for the last couple years anyways. So, but we will, yeah. we will work our way from the bottom of my list to the top because we're going to save the, the big matches for the end. And I'm going to just restructure this because I don't like the placement of that one match. It does not deserve to be that high up on the card. All right, speaking of that match, let's just start off with it. The fucking joke of the, the weekend. Brock Lesnar versus Omos. Go. This is not the worst match on the card. Hey, don't, Honestly, it's not. I'm I looking I, at the I card think it's and be, it looks like shit. It, this, the, is, this match is shit. Um, I think it has potential to be a decent match, not the... Not the worst match of the night. Um, if anybody can possibly maybe make Omos look like not as big of an idiot would be the other big idiot that gets in there with him. Um, I don't know how this one goes. Um, I see probably them saying again that Lesnar goes off script and does a temper tantrum of some kind. Um, who knows? He may... Flipped the entire stadium upside down this time. I don't know. Um, but this, how do you see this match having potential? So let's back up there and let, let's mm -hmm. let's go from there because, from my perspective, this match has no fucking potential at all. There's no storyline. There's no background or backstory mm -hmm. on it. This is just a Brock didn't want to wrestle Bray Wyatt, and they basically said, "Fine, here's who you're gonna face. Make it work." Please tell me, tell me how it has merit. How it's not going to be the worst match of the night. I'll wait. You're going to get to see Brock. I think Brock get manhandled a little bit more than you, you normally do. Um, he will. He's not going. to... I don't see him losing. Um, but I do see that you're going to have some, maybe some big tossing around and whatnot. But it won't be a very long match. They probably get maybe seven, eight minutes at max. 10 here, but here's the here, here's the only way it's gonna be like good quote unquote good is if it's a squash match and omos just destroys brock lesnar in under five minutes Possibly, way. but even then it doesn't make omos look good the dude has five moves in his repertoire and one of them is walking Yeah, um, I do think they. I do think he pissed off Brock though. 
when he mushed him over the rope and fucked it up. But again, he's he's so clumsy. I get he's a hey. seven foot dude, and they don't move as as agilely as like you would at five four. But <laughs> you got that in this episode, <laughs> fucker. But he's just he's so clumsy and he's so clunky when he moves. He moves very mm-hmm. much like his kneecaps don't exist. Like he took that would you rather challenge of no elbows or no kneecaps and he said, fuck it, no kneecaps. <laughs> and yeah, no, just... and he is, he's not, he's not agile. His mobility is very limited. He's very stiff when he does stuff. I think it might be a decent, decent match, but I don't, like I said, I don't think it'll be the worst match. I'm interested of, of the card. Which one? Yeah, I, I'm interested to see which one you think is going to be the worst match because I'm looking at all of them. There's one other one that I have in mind that could, like, maybe. But this one right now is, like, for sure, terrible match of the of the weekend. Because, again, if Lesnar loses, then Omos looks decent. But, again, are you going to finally push Omos then? Are you going to push him into the U.S. title? Are you going to push him into the IC title? Are you going to push him, like, the fuck? Because he has to, if if Omos wins, he has to be on the upwards trajectory to have something done with his career. If he loses, then it was just a squash match, and I'm right. And so are the thousands and thousands of other people who say this is just a waste of a space on the card. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I don't think uh, I don't think Lesnar loses it. I think he wins in some random way. I, I agree. I think I, there's no it makes no sense for Lesnar to lose. No, not at all. All right. That's wasting our breath on that guy. On Omos. And he has... Well, here's the problem, though, with WWE. And I think this is probably why I'm thinking this way. If you look at how they handled big guys, even Andre the Giant, the big show, those two were not handled great. And granted, Andre the Giant was... A whole different situation, a whole different era, a whole different decade. Um, but Big Show became the biggest joke on WWE. All his matches were a joke. They weren't anything spectacular. He wasn't made a threat. He was big at one time, and then he just became this giant jobber. Uh, and the same with, like, I almost feel like that way with Kane, too, where Kane was had really good career in the last few years he just kind of tapered off he had his gimmick he he became gimmicky towards the end and but i mean he passed he passed it off as best he could put over who he could same thing with the big show he had his gimmicks under the giant though he there was no telling him no that was the thing if it's he wanted it he was doing it and the same thing with him and him, him and hogan that it, and then his last match where he couldn't even he could barely move, and he's like, "You're not slamming me until in the ring." That's when he told him just to pick him up and body slam him because yeah. he wasn't going to do it. He said, "Like, no, you're not slamming me," but then he he chose to do it. Yeah, I mean, but different time completely too. But oh yeah. Anyways, let's move on. Um, this one is an incomplete match. I didn't see anything on Raw about who the last spot is. Um, So maybe on SmackDown this Friday, the night before WrestleMania, we'll find out. Um, But this list was updated as of Saturday that I pulled. And it's the Women's Fatal 4, four, sorry, Women's Fatal 4-Way Tag Team Showcase. And you have the teams of uh, Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan versus Shotzi and Natalie versus Ronda Rousey and Shayna. Baszler, and then a fourth team who has yet to be announced. I'm seeing Chelsea Green and Sony Deville, who they should did. have just didn't they just hit their? Yeah, they just got their chance on. Was it 
Raw or SmackDown, where they they had, they was, had to win. If it was, it was on Raw. Raw, it didn't get aired on Hulu, so I wouldn't have seen oh, it. Okay. Which because again, this is not a great segue. <laughs> yeah, which it's this is one of my ones. I have two, and I think you're going to be worse than the Lesnar and and Omos. This is one of them. But he, this is going to be an absolute shit show. So it had. Oh, it could be so good. Here's the problem, though. If if it wasn't green and debil, it could be good. Um, but before we start into this, like, cause I, I've well, I've been playing the two K twenty three game like crazy. I've been watching old old uh, videos and everything, and Sony Deville. This can be such a hot take. Sony Deville has not been used properly at all. She could be a powerhouse. She could be the one. She should have been the one. If you're going to do like MMA, because she has that background, she should have been the one to dethrone Ronda Rousey. But they make her like a very needy, whiny person. Yeah. And I feel like she used to be really good, especially with the likes of Mandy, Mo- Mandy Moore when they were tag teams and they were helping each other out. DeVille was really good. And I don't think they've showcased her properly. She just gets squashed by, well, everyone. But she also hasn't wrestled too much in the last year alone, so who knows. But the game brought that up to me. Where I was like, oh, she is a prominent figure. Why is she not wrestling? Because she had that home invasion a few years ago that had to have her removed from TV. Because in real life, she had a home invasion. So she mm-hmm. needed time off. Chelsea Green, though, uh, um, all I know about her is she's Zack Ryder's slash Matt Cordona's wife. Yeah, that, yeah. that's all I know. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's Ronda and Shayna didn't even have to wrestle; they were just given free entry into the into the match. They didn't have to qualify. So by just throwing them in there without even showing any type of dynamic that they have, they've been building up their. This one? They've been building up I, I quotations around building up. Heavy quotation. Yeah. You see how strong that finger work is right there? Heavy quotation on build it. Because you have seen them like they've attacked Natalie. Mm-hmm. What the shit was that? They have attacked Natalie um, and they've uh, attacked other people as well. I just heard an audio. But anyways... Um, but you've never seen them like in the ring facing each other at all. It's just been them going behind each other's back or behind the other people's back and attacking them. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you have Shotzi and Natalie, which you want to talk about no dynamic. The fuck? There's no dynamic at all. This is again just they needed somebody to partner up with Shotzi and they're like, oh, here's Natty. Mm-hmm. Overused. Stop shoving her down my throat. Don't like her anymore. She's old and she passed her prime in the in the game. Just let her go. Um, and again, this really, I mean, other than Ronda Rousey and Shayna, this whole thing is just thrown together. So this is not the other match I thought would be worst match of the night. Um, because I have high hopes for for the tag team because of Liv Morgan. <laughs> oh, God, Rodriguez. I guess. Um, uh, who do I see winning? Unfortunately, I see Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler winning. Probably double tap out. I would love, again, I would love for Liv to win just because, you know, big fan of Liv. We've talked about this on numerous podcast episodes. It's a big fan, but I think the UFC girls are going to get it. More than likely, that's probably the route that they go. If not them, then Liv and Raquel. Yep. I don't. Uh, I do see those four being the more dominant ones at it, and the other the other four just kind of being around. Um, Raquel probably a big factor going against those two, but yeah, I, I think I see. No. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Morgan and Raquel. You're gonna go with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's that's fair. Again, those those are kind of my two picks. 
And I just, as much as I would be okay with them winning, because it would be a fan of Liv Morgan, I just don't see them doing it since they've been building up very shittily, been building up uh, these two girls, or these two women, yeah. as these badasses of SmackDown, and they're just going to take on everyone, anyone, and no one can stand in their way, and blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't, so. uh, I don't know if they do. If Liv and Raquel win it, you're going to see Ronda and Shayna be the ones to co- try and come after the belts. Those are going to be your, your main ones starting yeah. out, I think. Uh, the feud coming out of this will be that. So let them come out feuding for the titles and whatnot, too. So, yeah. Again, I don't see it being a very good match. There's nope. not... Not a lot of amazing there's wrestling. There's not a lot of stories outside, outside of not Liv a story with this and either. Raquel. No, there's not. But I mean, looking at there's not either. What's the other no. four way? No, I mean, there's like there's no big dynamic wrestlers in this that are capable of really doing anything spectacular. I mean, Liv can do some shit. Raquel's. A powerhouse, Ronda. Shotzi can do some some weird she stuff. She can, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the only one I can think of. Natalia's old. Chelsea, no. And so, I, mean, I, I don't know. I don't see it being. It's going to be your just your normal normal match. Nothing crazy. You may see a couple of over the top rope type stuff, but I don't think anything crazy. I don't see any memorable moments coming from this match. So, so if you were, I meant to actually ask this on the last one. I did this on a different video where I ranked the matches <laughs> based on a conversation. <laughs> uh, just foresight. One to five. One being the worst, five being the best. Are you are you saying this would be the worst? Like one for sure? Or... Um. Yeah, I'd probably say this is probably going to be the worst one. And I put Omas and Lesnar at probably a three. There's one other one that fits right in between those two. That can battle for the next one. one. I, I think it's the next one. Yeah, I would. I I don't think this is gonna be the worst, but I I'm gonna give this. I'm I'm basically flipping yours. I'm thinking this is gonna be kind of a middle of the line, middle of the row type match, and nothing great, of course, but. You know, at the same time, it has potential because there are some key, there are like three key players in here. And really, again, Rodriguez, Liv, and Shotzi, Rousey, and Baszler, while they are together, they're just going to go in there to destroy. And I think everyone's going to team up on them from the get go, and then they're going to somehow win. So that just makes sense. So, at least, you know, in my opinions. Yeah. I'm going to be, like, drastically wrong. No, I mean, it wrong. makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> going to happen on Saturday. I'm just going to get a message. Oh, you're wrong, fucker. Try again. <laughs> All right. Yes. All right. Let's move on. Um. So, this is my other match I think has potential to be one of the worst. Even though the story's been good, it's just... I get the feeling it's not going to be great. The Mysterios. Ray versus Dominic. I am so hesitant about this match just not being good. And yeah. So give me your input. Who do you think is going to win? Who do you think? Or yeah, who do you think is going to win? What would you rate it? Of course, one through five. Um, this honestly is not one of the matches I have as one being one of the worst matches. Um, I think it's going to be a decent match. Ray is more is going to carry him through a lot of it. Um, Dominic is not. He's a better wrestler than he is a talker. And he's not amazing by any means, but he can handle himself in the manner of putting on a match. And he's going to be with somebody that has obviously trained him, worked with him. And I'm guessing that they've got some stuff lined up that may or may not work. Um, I don't think it's going to be Ray's last match, but I don't see 
um, him winning. You don't see Either. Ray winning? No. Hmm. I don't see Ray winning. I say that like I'm shocked because I'm not. <laughs> I don't know why I just like why that tone came across. <laughs> like, I agree with you. No, I, <laughs> no. Um, I think I think you're right. I think Dominic's gonna win. I think this is gonna set up for uh, SummerSlam, and maybe that would be Ray's retirement match. Could be. Um, but at the same time, I think. Again, based upon the kayfabe storytelling that's going on, and you know, we just saw on uh, this last SmackDown that Ray finally, you know, hit his son, mm-hmm. but it wasn't anything impressive. No. And yes, the the key point was, um, you don't talk that way to your mom. That's my wife. Yep. Which is a great way to say like, I'll still whoop your ass, only don't touch my wife. Um. But at the same time, like, I get the feeling they're going to make Ray kind of get bullied by Dominic, like pre heavily get bullied. And it's just going to be very much a one sided fight for the most part. And it's going to be Dominic just like shoving him around, pushing him around, trying to get Ray to again hit Dominic. And his wife slash his mom is going to somehow be a part of this that's going to trigger Ray to finally just smack the shit out of Dominic but I, I because of that entire dynamic I just don't have high hopes for this um, I do think Dominic wins and it'll be a cheat and or a dirty win uh, but this is definitely one of those like I don't think it's going to be bad like Lesnar and Omos I would give this a 2 uh, but I like I don't think I could, in good conscience, give this anything higher than a two because I just I don't have high hopes for this at all. And purely based upon story telling the way they have it going on right now. But don't let me sway you over here or anything. Just no, I'm I'm, I'm going through an analytical is. standpoint of it. <laughs> I think there's going to be some potential for a good match. Not you know match of the night matches match of mania by like that, but it's it's hopefully going to be decent. <laughs> hopefully, they can do it to where they do some they do some high flying stuff. They tell a decent story and. Dominic comes out with the win in some way because it, to put more heat on him by beating his dad to solidify him as a as a major heel as some call him. I don't understand how, but he is. He's seen as a major heel right now. Because everybody hates him. Oh, I know. Yeah. And it's not like they either hate him or they like him. They either hate him because of his kayfabe. Or they hate mm-hmm. him because of who he is. Like, either way, everybody hates him. Yep. So, I mean, he's got the heat just to give him more heat by beating his dad. On WrestleMania weekend, where he's inducted to the Hall of Fame, everything like that, I think is something that more likely happens. But are you thinking it's clean or a dirty win? Oh, well, it'll be dirty in some way. If it's not the brass knuckles, it'll be something. You don't think they would go for the classic Guerrero move of a steel chair smacking on the ground, tossing it to Rave, and then him falling backwards just in time for the ref to look back and be like, you hit him. No, you know damn good well he didn't hit him. Shut up. <laughs> oh, go um, on, tell the story. Did they? Yeah, I mean, the the... The more and more he starts to slowly bite Guerrero's style and not full on try and steal it, I, I I like I like I like the small glimpses he does to it. Um, as long as the whole family dynamic stays out of it, and it's not like Ray's family turns on him all of a sudden. 
and some some men are like that. That's what I don't want to see because then I then you have to go around and you get to see a mopey Ray for the next you know two or three months, months or however yeah. long until until summer or the next next match that they have. Yeah, three months, I guess. Yeah. Then you have to deal with that whole dynamic of oh, your family turned on you because you're a deadbeat. You left me alone. You left them alone. I mean, yes, it makes sense, but God, I don't want to see it. But and I that's, don't that's see not, it happening either. Yeah, that that would not be a good way to end his. To end his legacy, no. to end on a on that note. So, but no, what? Not at all. What would you rate this one to five? And if you say five, so help you, I will drive all the way up there and dick punch you tonight. No, I mean this is the this is the mid, at best. I mean, I'd say a three. Okay. Right there, so I mean it's it's middle of the road. Just don't have high hopes for this one. Like, there's part of me that says this one will eat this or Lesnar will be the worst match of the night, like guaranteed. I'm really hoping that Ray carries him through most of it and it all kind of works out. But that's the problem I, is he shouldn't have to carry. I get he's the legend. He's the he's the tenured person. He's the one that should be doing most of the work. But he shouldn't have to. As no, he should. Dominic is trained by Ray. So, yeah, no, I get it. I just don't, uh, just don't think he's ready. But when your dad's very mm. material, eh, kind of happens. Yeah. Anyways, on to one of the bigger matches. Um, and I think this one has full potential to be the show stealer, like to be the number one match. Um, there's only like. Three, maybe four matches, I think, that will steal the showcase altogether. Uh, but this one is for the undisputed WWE Tag Team Championship. The Usos, Jimmy and Jay, versus Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. Probably the best match of Mania. You think I this think, is, like, for sure? I think this is, this is what I think. I mean, it's going to be one of the two. I mean, Cody and, and Roman are this one, I think. Um, so there's one other one I would give a possible, but we'll get there. And I think I know else one. Probably. <laughs> uh, well, I mean, you could be, there could be two other ones, I think. Um, yeah. But I mean, Owens and Owens and Sammy against the Usos. This one, I, I'm looking forward to it. The way that it was set up worked really well. It drug on a little longer. Month story. It Twelve drove a month than story. Yes, um, there's still more story going to happen. I think. Oh yeah. Of, you know, the finals, yes. final matches and everything. But, um, hell of a match. All kinds of crazy shit going on. Um, I'm putting the over, of uh, three and a half stunners, in this match. <laughs> <laughs> and uh well in that case i'm uh, putting down a dozen super kicks between the I four of them say, I'm, I'm gonna go with yeah that's right they all do super kicks don't they well uh, sammy zane Hul- doesn't the uh Huluva Huluva. yeah so i mean i mean you're seeing multiple of those as well um yeah i think it has potential to be one of the best matches this one i'll put at I mean, to rate it, I would say you probably. You can do like halves, by the way. I'll let you do halves. <laughs> it's a four and a half right now, I think. I typed in I four. I think it's got potential. <laughs> yeah, I'd say four and a half for that one. I This is one of those like. Like you're saying, it had well. Hold on, who the hell do you think's gonna win? You just fucking bypass all together. Oh, Who's same man, same man, Kevin. Oh, yeah. Like at least we're in agreement there. Anyway, I I I yeah, I had lo- I was losing. So I here's the thing. I think I agree with you. I think this is going to be for me. First off, I think this is gonna be a five star match because this they have to make the story pay off. Twelve months of J not liking Sami Zayn, and then Jay coming around to Sami Zayn, and then 
Jimmy turning on Sami Zayn, and then KO trying to convince Sami throughout these last 12 months, and then giving up, and then be like, I just want to be friends, and you never said anything about friends. Now they're friends again. It's like a teenage telenovela. Like, it's amazing. I can understand it, though. And I, I, I think the payoff has to be so good. I think this is going to be what pays it, or plays so heavily into the Cody and Reigns match later on. Whether this is night one and uh, Reigns and Cody are night two, I, I think that's the only way to make it make sense too. So where it, it pays out or plays out properly, uh, but I think Jimmy loses, and I'm not sure exactly my thought process, but I just think Jimmy loses, and Jay's gonna basically blame Roman for why the hell didn't you come out and help us? Solo, why didn't you come out and help us? We're your actual brothers. I feel. And uh, tons of super kicks. I'm going to say at least like five stunners from KO. And it's not just like on the Uso. I'm talking to fucking anybody, everybody. Five stunners. So, uh, but this, this by far has the best chance of the entire two night event to fully be match of the night. It's just, it's set up, it's poised to be amazing, and we would have brand new undisputed tag team champions finally. Um, so, plus, Sammy just needs it. KO needs it. The Usos need a night off, or need a week off, or two. They've been pulling the whole damn company for the last year. So, bro. And Jay has been pulling for what, last two years he's been in the bloodline now? In the shit beat out of him by Reigns for the first six months? Three or six months, something like that? Yeah. Something like Speaking that. of COVID, basically. Uh, yeah, I, there's only two other matches. I don't... One match for sure, one other maybe. Depends on who wins. Um, yeah, so. Both thinking Zane and KO will win. Four and a half to five stars. Awesome. And the other Fatal 4-Way Showcase match. This is another one that I don't have high hopes for, but I don't think it'll still be terrible because it has the Street Profits, Alpha Academy, Viking Raiders, and Ricochet and Braun Strowman. So, yeah. Montez Ford always has a highlight moment in every match he does. So, Yeah, start there. I see. I'm just I'm just waiting for um, Ricochet and Montez to kind of steal a show when it comes to fly, high flying. Um, Strowman is going to throw people around. Thing? No, uh, no. I mean, this is not like a a show stealer, but I do see Ricochet and Montez Ford doing some doing some stuff similar to what Logan Paul and Ricochet did at Wrestle in uh, Royal Rumble. <clears throat> having their moment like that. Um, this one, I'm not, I'm not overly excited about this one. I'm more excited about this one than the, uh, the fatal four of the women's. Yeah. Um, this one does have potential to have some, some fun stuff going on. It like Otis and Braun Strowman going at it or the uh, Viking, whatever they are. I don't even know. Those guys are a joke. Um, they were. They're being built up to actually be a proper faction again. If it works, cool. But I just don't. I don't know. Um, but they were also they just in a. Legit. They were just in a feud with McIntyre and Sheamus, and nothing came from that. Like they were legitimately just in a feud, and it's what allowed uh, Ricochet and Braun Strowman to go on in that tournament. Mm. because McIntyre and Sheamus gave up their spot to go attack the Viking Raiders. Like, and that's, I think that's the last thing I remember of them, so those four fighting is just a backstage brawl. Like, the... What I don't happened? remember that one. I don't know. The whole... And we'll get to that those those guys a little bit, too, but, like, that's... It seemed like they needed, they needed them for for the Gunther match. I mean, they needed him for something else. 
So implant the other ones here. This match will be decent. Not a showstopper. I mean, I'll, this one's going to be probably a two, two and a half at best. Give you two and a half. All right. I mean, I, I agree. I agree with that rating, two and a half. And I, I think I don't see anything happen between the street profits of, you know, pushing Montez out anymore. Um, uh, you will see. They've, been, they've been hinting divide. very. They've been hinting very strongly between the divide going, especially with Austin Theory, as he's mm-hmm. made several digs at both of them. Of oh, he ain't nothing without the other one. Or clearly, the uh, the uh, what's the other dude's name? I can't think of Ford's partner. I can't know either. The fuck's his name? Dawkins. There we go. Saying Dawkins carries the group and Montez Ford is just there. Look at him wasting his opportunity at Hell in a Cell. So, which if you see it too, I mean, Alpha Academy, they're slowly dividing as well. Yeah, they're, they're not going to win because Otis is going to be part of uh, Maxim, Mel Models, whatever. Yeah. And Gable's going to get a solo run finally and get a proper push. So, that's good. Which, which is good for him because he's the new Kurt Angle. Well, that obviously, he's, he's an actual good wrestler who's been underutilized. Yeah. Um, he's got his catchphrase; it works for him. Ugh, it's it's annoying, but it works. Uh, yeah. Um, but in this one, I mean, there's no. I mean, what's there's no point in, for you were winning nothing. Don't these fatal four ways? Don't they get a chance at the title? Or am I just making it all up in my head? As far as I know, it's just a, it's just a match. No, oh. no. If, if they win it, they can say yes, we won. Give us a shot. I don't really see anything happening. Um, I, I do see the. I want to say Street Profits win it, uh, and then. I, don't know. I I think with what happened on SmackDown. Or was it Raw? Where the the Prophets and Braun Strowman slash Ricochet kind of had beef between each other. I'm giving my win to Ricochet and Braun Strowman to kind of shut them up type mentality. Um, More so now that if there's no championship match in the future, then it doesn't hurt the Prophets to lose. True. I just don't know. I don't think there's a whole bit. Bene- no, there's not, not seeing anything as far as a beneficial wise. I mean, they can say, yeah, we won, but yeah, I don't know. I I would like to see the profits win, but I could see a oh, Ricky Shane Stroma taking it too. Yeah, pick I one. You can't have both. Oh, I'll take the straight profits. I don't think the Viking Raiders win it. I think they will cause mayhem, mayhem for a bit, but that's it. Yeah, I think Otis will get distracted by what's her name from Maxim Mel Models. Yeah, and he'll be basically gone, forcing Gable to leave or get manhandled. So I think Rick Shea and Strowman win. So how about a guy that's been tossed around? Otis has had so many different. <laughs> he's he like wins. another Baron Corbin. No, except like he's Otis. except he's over. Yeah, Otis gets over. Baron Corbin has not been over since, well, technically since Sad Corbin, uh, but even before then, Lone Wolf was the last time he was big. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what they do. I don't know. It's it's going to be a decent match, not a showstopper, or stealer, or anything like that. Oh, I'm with you. This is. This is a two and a half at best. That's really like a stretch now that I'm, the more I think about it. Let's move on before I completely retract that and just make it a zero. Because now I'm thinking that may be the worst match of the night. <laughs> oh man. Anyways, the next matchup we have is Gunther versus McIntyre versus Sheamus. Is this the other match you were thinking that could be a show stealer? 
Okay. No, this honestly, this is one match that I I will probably be good, but I really don't care. I really don't care at all. I do not like Gunther. I can't stand That's him right. at all. I, I and I I don't I don't really care who wins it. Sheamus is like Sheamus and Drew is Drew. Like there's there's so much potential for more Drew. I they're gonna push Gunther no matter what. Sheamus is Sheamus is old. I mean, but this is the only he, title he has not won. The IC. Yes. Has Sheamus never won the IC title. I don't believe so. They've I believe they've make mention oh. of this every time is like Seamus needs this because he has never won. This is the oh, one title that. that has eluded him. I could have swore he had it. Okay. Um but yeah I, I mean, to be honest Goog- I, I mean you're Googling it so go ahead. <laughs> I, I, I looked at something because I, I could have swore he had it but maybe not. Um he had no I see because he's won the heavyweight, he's won the world, he's won tag, he's won US he won Money in the Bank, even, I believe. So yeah, this would be the only... Outside of NXT, this is the only title that eludes him. Yeah. I mean, if they're going to give it to him, cool. I just don't... What's, like... I don't know. I just want... I want it off of Gunther. So if one of these yeah. two win it, cool. And But I don't. I don't know if they're going to pull it from him. It's just I, so boring. I think they will because rumor mill is that Gunther is getting ready to go for a big title match. But there's okay, also, and we'll and we'll touch more about the second part at the end. But there's also a rumor that a new title is being brought back, a new world title is being brought back. So probably to appease the USA Network. Since their big thing is we don't have a world champion, we only have U.S. and Reigns is primarily on SmackDown with both titles. So that going to oh well, if I could just go into it at this point, uh, but the rumor would be that they are finally going to truly unify Reigns' title, so where you have a unified world heavyweight WWE champion, and then we'll have a some other championship. Um, and that comes from apparently the people, the person who makes the championship belts for WWE, kind of hinted at that he's making a new title for somebody, and seeing he's only contracted to make titles for WWE, it kind of points it to WWE. So, so yeah, we'll t- let's, yeah, I, I know you're talking, I know what you're talking about. So I don't know if. Um... So in 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 this Gunther shit yeah. show in in Dick Mac, um, I don't see I don't see Gunther winning it. I see Drew hopefully winning it because out of the three, I like him probably the most. Um, so you want to put Drew down? I'll put Drew down, and I'll All this right. one I'll put it like. Right, I I put this one at a three at a mid three point five. <laughs> At that, because it's got potential. I just don't really care. To, it's I'll. It's the part where I'll get up and walk around and go pee, jump rope or something. I don't know. You ain't got jump rope. Shut up. You don't know me. I see well, pictures know, on Facebook. You don't <laughs> jump rope. <laughs> I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't really care to watch this match. I will watch it, but I'll be on my phone or something. Here. So I think Sheamus is no one. But here's something they could definitely do to like to protect Gunther and still make him seem like it took so much to keep Gunther down. Um, but also allow them to have one more banger of a match with McIntyre for the Sheamus or just keep them together is to have McIntyre and Sheamus pin Gunther. To keep him down. Because Gunther can't lift both their body weights off. So if Sheamus is on bottom. And McIntyre is on top. And Gunther gets pinned. Well they're both champion. At that point. Because they both pin. And that allows Gunther to still be protected. And if they need to do like a. Best of three. 
match between these three, then they definitely could and make it go through SummerSlam easily. As boring as Gunther is to watch, that would be the best way, in theory, to protect Gunther and keep him looking strong. But, like I said, I think Sheamus is going to win. I would love to see a double win. So where you see those two go at it even more. And because that's Seamus' big deal is McIntyre's always in the way. Why are you doing this? So But it also it makes sense for McIntyre to win for Seamus to then beat McIntyre and see and kind of be like, look, I'm better than you mm-hmm. type mentality. So Um, I won't be generous with that half star. I just think it's three. I think this will be a mid tier. Um Yeah. If it if it becomes an amazing match, it's not because of Gunther. It's gonna be because of McIntyre, Sheamus carrying, and there goes the Jones as well. Uh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about Imperium. Fucking Imperium. Anyways, let's stop wasting our breath on these two morons. Oh, I have them. All right, we only have a few matches left, so we'll get through this fairly quick. We have five matches left. Yeah, that was right. A few six. Seven. God damn it. How many matches do we have left? <laughs> Two, four, six, seven. Oh, great. Okay. Let's get into it. Edge versus Finn Balor in Hell in a Cell. And to be specific, it'll be Finn Balor demon persona. Demon. Uh, but there's also a hint at Edge bringing back the brood persona. Mm-hmm. Which is still just Edge. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas Finn Balor has all the paint. To look like a demon, so yeah, do with but that information that you want. White, he'll have a white shirt on. The, I did see that's... Grangle maybe coming back for this Gang, match specific. Gangrel, Gangrel, yeah. Grangle. <laughs> and also, I did read that Tony Khan apparently gave Christian the go ahead for a one night at WrestleMania. To it's true. Um. I will not be surprised if there is a big thing going on as far as Edge winning. Because I do have a hard time seeing Tony Khan agreeing and allowing Christian to become a doormat. There's no way he's going to say, yeah, take one of my top guys and you can beat the shit out of him and make him look like a clown. Because that was the big thing about... um, Who the hell was it that he was... There was another person that he was supposed to have come over, but didn't want to. They didn't want to lose, because he doesn't. I mean, and it makes sense, but he's not going to let him come over and just be a doormat. And I don't think Christian would be, anyways, when it comes to any of this. But if they do it, and they bring back the original brood, and they do it right, the match could be phenomenal. Especially in Hell in a Cell. Um, you may be looking at one of Edge's last matches as well. Because it's a full circle for him. This is how he came in. This is how he goes out. And it goes out on top of killing, killing the demon in his old ways. And... That's how I think that one goes of Edge winning and going out that way. I think it might be his last match. I didn't know, but the dude's damn near 50. I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice that until the other day when I was watching a video and it's like 47, 46. And I was like, he's 49. Oh, 49. Okay, listen to Lexa. Okay. Hey, kick my ass. He's fucking old. See, so yeah, uh, yeah, I think it might be his last match. I don't think it'll be his last match. I think SummerSlam will be his last match. Hmm? Either which way, this this upcoming season in WWE will be his last match. If he makes it to WrestleMania 40 next year, that will for sure, without a doubt, be his retirement match. Um, mm-hmm. but he just he does not have too many more matches in him, and he's made that very clear. Um. What did you say this would be rated? Did you get this five? Oh, this one? 
Uh, yeah, this one I'll put. Yeah, yeah, this one I'll put at five. Alright. Um, I don't see how Christian would. Here's the thing. With doing this forbidden door concept, uh, there were supposed to be people who came over during Royal Rumble, and the stipulation was that Tony Khan wanted them to announce, like Mickey James was announced that MJF or whoever was supposed to come over is from AEW. Mm -hmm. And they were not going to have that. They did not want to mention their competitor versus saying, this is Mickey James, Impact, Diva, whatever her championship was. Because the Impact is not a competitor to anyone. No. Um, So, I don't... I didn't know about the Christian thing. So, that will be interesting to see how that dynamic plays out, especially if Gang Girl, Gang, whatever, if it's coming back. If he comes back and they do, in fact, do the brood, then I could see them be like, oh yeah, here's Christian, and it's just for the entrance. Nothing else. Don't Which, let him... You know, cool. Yeah, don't let him, like, actually compete, because again, like you said, if he competes, Christian has to be put over. And it, even if he got used as a doormat, he would still be put over, because people love Christian. Um... But I, th- I think, I think like you said, or maybe I read in between the lines because I don't think you clearly said it, I think Edge does come out on top. I think Edge wins mm-hmm. 100%. Um, just finally fucking put this nail in the coffin of this terrible fucking story. It's just, it has not been good for a while. Uh, which is honestly the only reason why I can say this would be like four stars at most. I don't think it being... I don't think it'll be a show stealer. I don't think it'll be match of the night, match of the weekend. I just, I do not have any hopes at all for this to be an uh, amazing match to the point where everyone's like, oh my god, did you see it? And if they are, it's because the brood came back as a whole. Mm-hmm. But it will be interesting because it is Hell in a Cell. Um, so it'll be Fun to watch. It'll definitely have my full attention, but at the same time, it'll be one of those like if I have to go to the bathroom or go grab snacks, I'm gonna go grab snacks. And it's not gonna be a big deal. And yes, I know I can pause the damn stream. I don't want to pause it. Okay. <laughs> it's depending upon where this match falls into play. If it's like before the showcase, I want to be able to like have all my stuff ready or just be like fuck it. I'm gonna go cook dinner now. Mm-hmm. And just have it play in the background. Um, but I'm ready. I'm ready for this story to uh, be over. It will be interesting to see how how his story, how Edge's story saga plays out from here on out because it, it's he's on his road to retirement after this. So whether it's a short road to SummerSlam or to Survivor Series or a one year long road. And we just get amazing matches, dream matches even. Um, even if it's a one-time matchup, Edge versus Christian. And AEW, Tony Khan lets Christian come over for one more night to, <laughs> to do that. But again, Christian would lose then. Because I don't think WWE would let Chris, Christian win. But maybe, because yeah, he's no. originally theirs anyway, so... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I still think this this is the last one. I think he goes out this way. No. No. I don't think so. I think he still has... Because he says, I don't have many more matches left, which, yeah, that could hint at this being a retirement, yeah. but if this was a retirement match, I feel like they would have announced that on Raw and just said, let's call, let's put it all on the table and let's make it the highest stakes possible. You win, I leave, I retire. If I win, we're done. Because either way, the story ends. He wins, mm-hmm. story's done. He loses, story's done, and he retires. Uh, and Finn Balor is not a bad person to retire you, so it's not like he's losing to Omos or Otis. So I'm just, you know, just 
the same. Yep. Edge and then a four. So this next match though is one that I like I said I think could be match of the night or match of the weekend. Um but it's so it's a big like maybe. Depends on who wins and how it plays out. Um, but Seth Rollins versus the birthday boy, Logan Paul. This is one of the few matches I know takes place on night one. Mm. But I think... I'm, I don't know what to think. I'm going to just say my prediction is that Seth Rollins wins. No. No, I talked myself out of it. I think Logan Paul's going. Because <laughs> Logan Paul... Uh, I, I just think it back to what I watched on Raw, and it was, if Logan Paul wins, then I'm the joke. And that would play very well into Ron's taking some time off, reinventing himself, different gimmick. Ooh, by the way, that dude has not had one truly awful gimmick. Even with his preacher persona, it wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. I did not like the freaking Rollins when it started. I, I've started to like it a lot more. And when I went and saw him live, I liked it even more. Just the whole, I think it was just the whole singing with the damn song, his interest music and everything. It just, I, I like him now. I like it now a lot more than I did when it first started. It's because he changes hair, isn't it? It could yeah. be. We have a podcast episode that she said he needs to just go back to the to the gold hair, to the could be. half hair. Could be. I give my win to Logan, so do you justify why you're giving your win to Rollins? I don't think <laughs> that I can really justify it enough. To where it's gonna make sense, but uh, it's gonna be a what? hell of a match. I do, do you really see think it. he's gonna win, Rollins. Yeah, yeah, I do. Um, just maybe for the mere fact that Logan Paul's knocked knocked him out twice so far, he's gonna try it again. See what happens. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, but um, he did that with Reigns too. He knocked him out, got one lucky punch, and then yeah, lost to Reigns. And that was a whole. That was a stupid match. Also, this one. But he gained a lot of respect for the shit he did. He, he and did. So he brought that cell phone out to take his video doing a frog splash. And, yeah, and that's also another thing too. Is as long as his brother is not around, but it's WrestleMania, so you know they're all gonna be there. There's no way his brother will not be at WrestleMania. If his brother appears, I'm telling you this right now. If his brother appears and has any influence or impact or hell if any of the impulsive guys have any influence in this match it is instantly a two-star match because it goes to once again show that logan paul can't do shit by himself mm -hmm. and i don't think what involved. everyone's been saying that he's mm -hmm. just here for the money and he's he's making a mockery of the entire industry i don't think they get involved they will be there. There's no way that they won't be there somewhere front row or something like that. Um, there may be something, but what I would like to see is for Logan Paul to try and knock Rollins out and he knocks Jake Paul out. Oh, I would love that. That's what I would love to see. And I think everybody would love to see that. But if they were willing to do that, now that would be great. That would be one hell of a moment. Um, uh, that would kind of make sense based off of a clip I saw from Impulsive where um, one of the guys, was ta they were talking to Jake and they were saying, you haven't fought anybody who's been a real competitor, have you? He's like, no. I fought nobody that's, that's real serious. Everyone who I fought fights you know, people who are a joke or something to that demeanor. Mm -hmm. And that brought up KSI. He's like, wait, then... Logan fakes KSI? Yeah. And? And Logan's like, oh. You, hold on. And that's kind of where the clip cut, so. I mean, if that was happened, cool. That'd be great. 
I think everybody would love to see that happen. Will it? Probably not. Um, I don't. I don't think it'll be any type of dirty, dirty win like that. It'll be a straight up matchup. Be a great match because Rollins, like Ray, will have to do. He'll have to carry a lot of it, but Paul can definitely hold his own as well. Um, to a degree, yeah, yeah. So I think you have about a similar match in the fact of one's going to carry, one will follow very well, and then he'll end up with the with the win in some fashion. But it'll be a, I think it'd be in a clean win. And I, I, if there is a, a spot of Jake Paul getting knocked out, that just instantly makes it a five star. <laughs> but otherwise, it's a what? Uh, I put that one at a four. All right. All right. So let's God, let's move on. This is probably one of those other matches where a lot of people there's so much anticipation behind this match, and that's Cena versus Theory for the U.S. Championship. And I love everything I'm saying. I love all the rumors, all the speculation, which is Cena wins. He takes the U.S. title away from Theory and holds an open challenge on Monday night just to lose it to someone else, to a different up-and-comer and giving the spotlight to somebody else. Still puts over Cena, still puts over Theory. It'll be a tough-fought match. Theory will lose by just like a slim margin. But the more I read about all this stuff, the more I'm like, yeah, I believe that. I like that <laughs> play out. Because, like Cena said on, was it last Raw last week? Or was it SmackDown? Where it says, I have nothing to lose. You have everything to lose. You win. You lose because you have to come out and explain. You lose to me. You still have to come out and explain how you lost to a part-timer. So, but... Four stars. Your turn. <laughs> this it'll be a good match for sure. Theory's come a long way. His I character hate, has you hated him so much. Been, I did not like him, and you know what's I funny? do like him now. He grew a beard. You kind of like him. Seth Rollins changes hair. You like him. Hmm. Do you have a man crush? Listen, this is not Ryan Reynolds. Don't you don't you soil yourself for these people. The the clean cut Austin theory didn't work. It was not it wasn't working. Grew the beard, got a little edge to him and it worked. I don't know. Um it more appeal. <laughs> but <it's, laughs> I, I I don't know, I'm split because it's like, yeah, Cena can win it. What you said totally, totally makes sense. Um, maybe he maybe he does it because it's a night one match. Um, is this the other believe, night one? I think it's I. Th I thought this was night one, and then Reigns was night two. But they know it's the only confirmed night it's... two match. Maybe it is. I... Mm, I mean, yeah. Take this all with a grain of salt. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I see I can I can see theory winning it. Total bragging rights. Feed his ego even more, talking shit even more, running his mouth even more. That he beat the great John Cena, the 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 icon of the after attitude era. I mean, he's on the damn cover of the game right now. Um I see, yeah, I see th three winning it, and bad thing is though, I see this as like a a three. I don't see it as an amazing match. Oh, not a bachelor three. Okay. No, just yeah, better. Brady getting a three. Just the middle of the road basic match. Well, John Cena doesn't have too many terrible matches. And he'll probably do a lot no, of heavy he... lifting. No pun intended, but... I think this will be a... I don't even know if he has to, I... though. I think this will be a dick measuring contest. Cena does something wrong, or Theory has to try to outdo him. And again, like I said, it's going to push yeah. Theory to the limit. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be one of those moments of 
theory can't outshine or outdo Cena, and Cena just wins. Or theory wins via dirty. Those are really the only two things. That I don't think theory wins any other way by other than a dirty win. If he were to win. Yeah, just my opinion. Yeah, we'll see. It'll be it'll be a decent match. Yeah. This is the other one that I think is going to be one of the worst matches. Lita is old. Trish is Trish. I mean, she's had some decent matches um, with Bailey and the Crackhead Bunch. I don't, I don't care. Bailey's gotten Bailey's gotten worse. She's gotten clumsy. Becky is, I mean, Becky is Becky. She's going to do what she does no matter what. Yes, Lita's going to try and get her geriatric ass up and do moonsaults and everything like that. I wish, wish it wasn't happening. I don't, I don't see this coming out and, and Lita looking good in this match. And I really hate that because I don't want her to tarnish any of the legacy that she's had in the past. And... Yeah. And the fact that Trish missed her mark in so many weeks building up to this, that they just sent her home, didn't send her out. She doesn't fit. You saw I don't know if you saw it on Monday or not when they came out and then Becky and Lita have chemistry, obviously already they've done stuff together and Trish is just kind of like the the lost dog that kind of walks around like, oh, I don't have a title. And and they're holding the titles up. And Trish is like, yeah, these guys, no, look at them, not me, but look at them. Like, she, she just doesn't fit. And so I don't I don't have high hopes for this at all. Um, yeah, it's this is another this is a one a rating for sure. I don't I don't see it being very good at all i don't care if it's a steel cage or not no it's not a steel cage no it's not never mind yeah i just it's just not gonna i just don't see it looking them looking good in this match um I see damage control winning the title or winning it and not winning titles. <clears throat> yeah.
Yeah. They're pushing Oscar heel. Yeah. Bianca puts on a hell of a match. She has she's put on great matches in the past. Asuka can definitely keep up. Um I don't see I don't see uh I don't see Asuka losing. I see Asuka winning it. And I see Bianca taking some time off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The women's match on Raw in general is just not, not great. I just realized yeah. I had myself muted. <laughs> I think that uh, I think with this one you're gonna have probably a better match than the other female uh, championship match. I think this is the better one of the of those those two. Um, and I I put this one at four. All right, I think it's gonna be a decent match. Well, because I was muted, I said this was a three. <laughs> I don't know fucking how long I was muted for now. God damn it! If you heard silence, that was me talking. Fucking, I pre I have hotkeys. God damn it! Uh, I I don't know about that statement though. I think, and I don't like Charlotte Flair. I don't like Charlotte Flair. Again, it has nothing to do with. I mean, it has a little bit to do with talent. It just has everything to do with the fact that she is shove been shoved down our throat so fucking much for so many years and again it's it's not her fault it's just how the division was stacked and how it was set up there's only four real women who could to uh, compete in the women's division that was becky that was charlotte that was sasha and that was bailey bailey sucks ass now shot sasha left Becky is over on Raw, and she's the she's a goat right now. And then Charlotte's just there. Um, but I think that I think Charlotte versus Ray, Rhea Ripley will be better than Bianca versus Oscar. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Speaking of which, Charlotte Flair versus Rhea Ripley. Oh Who yeah, that match. Have? Oh yeah, that match. <clears throat> Let's go. Who do you have? Who do you have winning? Who do you have losing? I'm not muted this time. Yeah, like I said, this one is this one is not gonna be as good as Bianca and Oscar. I don't think it will be a decent match. You're gonna see a lot of a lot of power between the two of them. Um, I've got Rhea winning it, taking the title um, in one of the worst buildups of a championship match. In the women's division, it's horrible. There's Dominic been Terry did. very. I mean, no, he did. Read all the reports. Like Dominic carried it. Dominic did majority of the talking. Not Rhea. Yeah. It just doesn't look. I mean, it'll be it'll be a decent match. 
uh, I just I have Rhea winning the championship and taking it back to Judgment Day, solidifying her as the more dominant one in the entire group. I mean, I agree with you. <clears throat> oh my god. That's probably why I was muted. I was probably choking and muted myself earlier. <laughs> but I think this is what leads for a division in Judgment Day. I think Rhea wins and just stomps the ever loving shit out of Flair. Because then I win. I'm happy. Um, but I would put this. You said three, which makes sense because mm. I put the last match at three. So I'm going to flip it and just say four. It's not going to be match of the night by far, but I, I do think this will be a better match than Bianca versus Asuka just because, again, nothing from either one of those. Bianca is a powerhouse. Asuka is, for lack of better words, a goofy wrestler. She has amazing moves, but she's very much set in her style. And it I don't think it works well with Bianca. And Bianca will probably be doing most, most of the carrying in that match, which is not good if Asuka's going to win. Asuka should be doing most of the carrying. Whereas in this match, Flair versus Ripley, Flair beat Ripley just a few WrestleManias ago. Or what was it, five? Five or six, I guess, ago, mm-hmm. and took the NXT title away from her. So it would make sense for Rhea to win and just destroy Flair. Probably do a best of three match since they've already she lost once and then she'll win again, and probably finish up the inevitable storyline as long as Dominic stays away from it and they let Rhea finally start talking. Um, but with that said, if Rhea wins. And I mean, we already know she's the dominant force in Judgment Day. Somebody else in Judgment Day needs to have a title. Whether it's tag titles, a mid tier title, or the main title itself, there needs to be another title holder in that in that group. Or else it really just looks like mommy and her kids, which is pretty much what they're setting up, but it's annoying. So, yeah. Just my opinion. Doesn't mean much outside of this podcast. Neither does his. Don't let him fool you. We're married. Let's wait for Dom to get the next title. I've seen that he made. Okay, so <laughs> back to the John Cena thing, though, is I have seen like somebody saying, well, it would, it would be perfect for Cena to do an open, open challenge. And for Judgment Day to come out, and be like, oh, okay, who am I going to take on? Because he's already made fun of the three of them, or the four of them, and have Dom come out and get a very, very, very dirty win over John Cena. Where, you know, Priest and Finn have to get involved, maybe even Rhea, and now we have Dom with the title. And if Rhea does get involved, then he could definitely be like, I got it all with with mommy's help. <laughs> and then be the be, power couple. For him to beat two legends in three days and to get the title. It would project him into like the ultimate heel or the ultimate heat anyways. Would it work? Yes. Well, sadly probably not, but. Uh, remember those days. Because if this happens, <laughs> I'm taking a week off. Again, <laughs> I, we'll see. I mean, it'll be yeah. That, that, it's who knows, so. and everything we're talking about won't happen. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I mean, one of us has to be right. There's we, we're split on a few of them. We'll yeah. recap over them. Uh, but let's go to the the only other one I honestly think could be match of the night or match of the weekend. And that's for the WWE Undisputed Universal Heavyweight Championship. Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes. I'm just going to say this is a five-star match if done properly. But it has to be just Reigns versus just Cody. The 
bloodline cannot get involved. Or else it will tarnish the entire fucking thing. I know Solo will be involved. They'll all be involved. No, they won't. I'm, I'm telling you right now, no. It depending upon if the Usos lose, they will not be involved in this match. Because that's where we're going to see the final crack form that Reigns didn't come out to help. So why the fuck should they go out to help him? That's where it's going to come down to. And it's going to be Jay making the ultimate call. And they can go down the ring and they can act like they're going to help out. But they're going to go peace out and dip. And Jimmy's going to follow suit with Jay. Because with Jay, they're brothers. We've already seen we've already seen the groundwork being laid. That's the only way the Usos will get involved. So. But regardless, who do you have winning? The person going on to a thousand days? Or the storybook ending with Rhodes? I've got Reigns winning and going and getting a thousand because at that point he'll be what, 55 days away from it? Yeah, um, even better for him to lose it. I think uh, I think Roman wins it. Uh, also, it's and but there's also the the rumors we we're talking about earlier about the title. Mm-hmm. I saw pictures of uh, Cody's title of what it was going to look like with his his lo- his tattoo logo in the middle of it with the white white leather belt everything like that. <clears throat> um, and that's where I started to read about the rumor of the new title coming in. If, if they were to unify the titles. Um, but I don't see, I don't think Cody's the one that's going to take Reigns' titles. I think it's going to be Jay. Jay um, would make the most sense because that's where I the bloodline started. Mm-hmm. And I, I see everybody being involved in the last match. Uso's solo and Jimmy coming out. Sammy. And Kevin coming out, stopping him. Everybody's laid out. Jimmy comes out. Or I'm sorry, Jay comes out for some type of distraction, does nothing. And somehow ends up of Roman getting the win. But being uh, having an issue with why Jay did nothing. Why Jay was never around. Causing a, a rift there. And it could cause a bigger one too if Cody was to win, but I don't see I don't see Cody winning. What would what's the next pay per view? Sorry, PLE. Because fifty five days is only like a month and a half away. The May six, which would be Backlash at San Juan, Puerto Rico. That would be 35 days, not quite. It's fucking, that's the bad bunny one. Hmm. So yeah, if he, if, if they do J, okay, so let's go back. I'm going to play devil's advocate and say Cody wins because I want Cody to win. Mm-hmm. Um, do I think he wholeheartedly, honestly, truly will win? No. Because I think the only I the only person who's truly slated and positioned to win is Jay. But the only match, the only way to make that work mm-hmm. would be to let Jay compete in Money in the Bank. Have Jay win Money in the Bank and cash in on Roman Reigns a month later in, in SummerSlam. But that gives yeah. um what six April, May, June, July. Five five months mm-hmm. to build up to that. Yeah. But I if Rhodes doesn't win this weekend, I think Jay has to win it before the end of the year. And ideally I think he needs to win it before Survivor Series. So where there can be a war game or a blood versus old blood type match. You can see what I'm researching right there. 
<laughs> but I want road swin, so I'm going to say road twins, and I give this a five. Oh yeah, I definitely give it a five for sure. Um, I, I yeah, I see, I see Roman keeping it, winning it, and getting the thousand days, and I could also see having some type of I don't I don't even know if I have a match of backlash. You know, it might be something there, but I don't think anything happens until King of the Ring Rain. or Money in the I Bank. I think Reigns is on that pay per view. I bet you anything Reigns will not be there. That backlash? He has, yeah, he has no need. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I don't I don't see any reason for it. Um Yeah, it's either King of the Ring or Money in the Bank would be the one of the one of the next times that they do it and it's in Saudi, he'll be there. Reigns will be Reigns will be there. There's one in Saudi? Yeah. I didn't see that. May 27th. King and Queen of the Ring, it's in Saudi. Oh, I totally ignore that because I didn't give a shit about the paper. <laughs> Reigns will be there. Now, it could be you another bullshit be. match. Yeah. It's an, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could be a bullshit match. I don't think it'll be a bullshit match underneath Triple H. Because wasn't that, wasn't that the Logan Paul one in him? Yeah. Yeah, so it, I mean. It wasn't a, okay, one. It was a good match. It highlighted and made Logan actually look like a decent wrestler. But it was to please, it was to please the princess. It wasn't yes. a, a legit, yeah. like, you know, no, you, you know what I mean, like. I don't. But uh, it made don't it made it made more sense than Brother Destructions versus DX. Geriatric. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, he'll he'll be there. What what the match will be? Who knows? Um, we'll see. Money in the bank. I don't think anything serious will happen or start to happen until Money in the Bank. And how Jay. How Jay gets the the briefcase or gets involved in the match is going to be going to be the interesting part. So, yeah, that will be for another episode, another day. Now, SmackDown, they're gonna have the Under the Andre Giant, Giant Battle Royale, and. Rumors of everything that have been going around. There's still one more thing supposed to happen at Mania. Um, if Lashley wins that match, that that battle royale, which out of all the other guys, he's one of the only ones that makes sense right now to win that to win that oh, match. Why? Because his Bray Wyatt match is just randomly canceled. Well, dude, I read I read more about that. He's dealing with mental health issues, I guess. And there's also rumors that the fiend is going to be coming back because Vince believes it was a better character. So if I mean, it, it was, is, it was a great not, character, but you can't do that live events. They don't think that, uh, the, uh, his last character that he had unveiled went over as well as the fiend. Um, but if Lashley wins it, they're talking about, and this is before the, the battle royale, yeah. uh, that he's going to have a call out. For anybody to come out and have an open match at Mania, yeah. um, there was rumors of it being um, who's the NXT champ? Brecken, Brecken. Oh uh, 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 yeah, one the the Steiner kid. Yeah, yeah. So it's rumored for him that he's because they have NXT Ron also. Ron Breaker. Uh, yeah, it, there's an NXT pay per view Saturday as well at noon. Yeah. And he has a match there. They're all in L.A. Yeah. Um, so there's rumors that he is going to debut on the main roster as the NXT champ coming out to accept Lashley's challenge. And then they'll have a match. Maybe, maybe not. This all in, obviously all just rumors. But if he wins that battle royale, gives him momentum to go into that and say, I've done this. Who wants the next shot? Whatever. And open the door for him to take on Braun. Yeah, if it's I mean, Braun, or who knows? I've seen that. I've seen the next call up will either be Braun or Wesley. That was Owen, yeah. 
Wesley is a, just a fucking beast of a like mm-hmm. he's a cruiserweight division, but he is so fucking talented. Mm-hmm. Him and Dojovic, that match was amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I could see that. I knew the Andre the Giant was going on Friday. I've heard the same rumors that Lashley's next opponent will be Braun Breaker from NXT, and that'll be his call up. But it'll be that Braun has lost his NXT title that day at NXT Stand and Deliver or whatever it is. So, mm-hmm. um, so it'll be interesting. But I mean, overall for this for WrestleMania nights one and two again, we don't have the exact like dates yet. This is recorded four days before. We don't have the exact dates for all the matches. Um, it, it'll be a good one. I cannot say wholeheartedly it'll be a great uh, premiere live event because there's a like I'm looking at ratings. It will be a good one. Like right now, I think the average is about three and a half to three and three quarters. That's because we have a few matches that will just kind of bring the show the entire show down. But um, yeah, and I think we have I think we have higher hopes. I guess or not higher higher standards for some of the other matches than what they what they're billed as. Yeah. To so well, yeah, definitely. We're, we're old. We've been around the block a few times with this. We just want shit to work. Yes, and they have they announced their Hall of Fame oh. as well, so yeah. they have that too. I did I did see a rumor that this is Lesnar's last match against Omos. Which I mean, he could. It, it doesn't bother me at all. He can yeah, go away. That, I think that's what that's. Uh, I was trying to figure out why I was leaving out with that match at the beginning. Uh, but yeah, there's uh, speculation that he is. He's done because he's not a big fan of Triple H to begin with, and his contract's up or something like that. But mm-hmm. um, I've been reading a lot saying that this is Lesnar's last match, and that's why it's against Omos. Is where Omos can finally be built as a a dominant, as a fearing. Not as the next big thing, but as a force to be reckoned with rather than this tree trunk of a dude. If it works, it works. If he's gone, cool. I'm not going to miss him. It's like I'm over Brock Lesnar. Been over him for a while. Yes, I mean, he was... You want to talk about somebody that used to say Flair was shoved down your throat? That dude was everywhere. But that was, and it just got annoying. But it's pretty much for the same reason too. And what's sad mm-hmm. is like, at least with Charlotte Flair, you have like a legitimate reason why it has to be Charlotte Flair is because the division is just not that packed. Yeah. But Lesnar, on the other hand, is they can't entrust, they can't trust anyone else to put on an amazing match. They can't trust anyone to handle the match properly and to make it believable and to hold it up to the WWE Vince standard. When it comes to a title match, they can't trust anybody. So yeah, they had to bring yeah. Lesnar back all these times. So I get it, but at least Lesnar still gets over. There's still time, especially when like he changed up to his yeah. country hick thing, and you're like, okay. Yeah, he. Cool. I mean, he does. It works you're better for him now. now because it's that's him. That's he's genuine in his character of who he is. Yeah. That's who he is. Um, he's still a like a nerd on the mic, but. It's him. I mean, it's genuine to, to who he is, and it works. But like I said, if he goes away, cool. Um, yep. Do you see any big returns happening? Like any Hall of Famers or just Anybody that's been out for a while or just somebody coming back in some some way. Unfortunately, I see Jake making his debut his official oh, debut it pisses me off um hmm. <laughs> i'm trying to think because i mean the only other one if they if I, if I it's not going to be going to be there but that's about it but he's not yeah back. Um, he'll be there the only one i see if when the, if lashley does do his call out or whatever there's rumored that randy orton can come back He's not medically cleared yet. Uh, I thought he was. Maybe not. But as best I said, it's rumors that I've seen of him coming back. I don't know if he's cleared or not. Um, there was another one. I can't remember how it was. 
I want Randy but, to come back. I I think him and it, like that's how it should go out is against Randy one last time and let Randy claim the legend killer moniker one last time. Good. Oh, I see Mick Foley. That's what I was saying. Mick Foley. <laughs> no, no. I'm sure uh, we'll, we'll wrap this up soon, but I'm sure you've seen all the speculation and all the teeth with Mick Foley and Judgment Day. That mm-hmm. he applied to be part of Judgment Day. And that they, oh, go look it up. It's everywhere. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Facebook. Go look it up. I haven't seen uh, it. He, he even got interviewed about it on a, on a, <laughs> a, a podcast thing, I believe. But he wants to be a part of it. He wants to bring the hardcore side of it out. Um, and I've seen that as probably the strongest standing is Mankind, Mick Foley, somebody. One of his personas, or even a new persona, comes out and kind of, he's the mouthpiece. He's the one that helps lead Judgment Day in a proper direction rather than just little pop-up shop type faction. Um the other thing I was actually just reading when I was looking for Cody Rhodes' title belt because I wanted to look at it was they're looking at potentially doing a trio championship to kind of compete with AEW since they have a trios. And that's why we're seeing so many factions being built up with groups of threes or more. And that's mm-hmm. why we're seeing Cody align himself with Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens because we're, we're going to see a trios championship match. Uh, which do I think that's cool? Yeah. Do you have enough people to do that? Yeah. Should you? No, because your tag team division is a fucking abysmal right now. <laughs> yes, very true. It's it's dog shit. Let's, let, let's work on that before we add a third cog in the wheel, so to speak. Mm-hmm. So, um, I don't have. I can't think of anybody else. I mean. I keep saying, well, Undertaker's going to come back. No, he, I think he's done. Yeah, no, uh, he's, he's done. Is, he's done. Um, I saw a rumor yeah. that Kane has time in his schedule, but I don't, I don't think he'll make a comeback. Um, Game Girl's really the only one I could see coming back. Especially yeah. if Christian is coming back then. I think both of them are tied to AEW anyways right now. Gangrel's a free agent. He, he doesn't have a yeah, he doesn't have a tie to AEW. I think right. if any anybody it was uh, uh no he in, impact, but I no, think he's, he had a he has connection free. with uh AEW because when Edge did the brood entrance with the blood, uh AEW caught wind of it and they pulled his Debut. He was supposed to debut on AEW, and it never happened because of the brute segment. That's what he wanted to do on AEW. Oh, so we talked about it on that podcast. Mm-hmm. But I don't. I can't think of anybody else other than mankind. I'd love to have Randy Orton come back. Um, that would actually make perfect sense for Edge to win, and then for Randy to come out and just RKO him. Mm-hmm. That we have some unfinished business. Good. Um, no, what about you? You have any any no, I think, uh, speculations? Randy's probably the only one. I don't see anybody else. Goldberg. Oh, no, he they they cut his ass. He's gone. They released him. He, he can still come back. Um. No, I don't really see anybody. The I'm curious to see kind of what the Hall of Fame looks like, induction, stuff like that, but. Yeah. Nothing crazy. No, it's definitely going to be a tamed year compared to others. But so far, I mean, again, the match card looks good. It's not looking amazing. Um, I handed a tally on everything between the two of us. The collective actually comes out to like 3.8, 3.9. Um, so just under four. Um, but yeah, I, I have high hopes for a few matches. Again, I think the key matches for us will be Reigns versus Cody, just like it is for everyone else. Uh, I think Rollins versus Logan Paul will be a big one. 
that we like we tune in and actively watch. Same with Edge versus Balor. Uh, Cena versus Theory will be iffy, but I feel like we both could tune in and be like, "Oh yeah, look at mm-hmm. that." Uh, Usos versus KO versus Saint Zane, and unfortunately, the Mysterio match, and that's gonna be more to just see if we are right, not because we absolutely want to watch, but to see if like we we're right mm-hmm. in our prediction. I think that's about all we got for y'all. And, of course, we'll have another episode where we uh, touch base and recap. There we go. Recap. (laughs) Who knows? Uh, So, yeah. That's really all we got for you. I am mumbling at this point. So, Rob, we got anything else for for these lefty people? I got nothing. Hopefully, just looking forward to WrestleMania and then our, our Fallout recap show. That's yeah. the other word, fallout. God. <laughs> That's a, I, just, I don't have anything else. It'll be be a good one. We enjoy it. Till then. Bye, bitch. <laughs>